I'm Molly Pesci, and this is Barnes & Noble Tagged. The entire world watched and listened as Apollo 11 touched down on the moon. Now, 40 years later, we are thrilled to say that Dr. Buzz Aldrin has landed in the Barnes & Noble studios to talk about his new memoir, Magnificent Desolation. <laughs> In 1969, after having successfully piloted Apollo 11 to the moon, walked on its surface and returned safely to Earth, astronaut Buzz Aldrin was an international hero. But it seems his greatest journey would not be space travel, but overcoming personal challenges. He graduated third in his class at West Point and has a doctorate from MIT. But Buzz Aldrin's struggles with depression and alcoholism would change the course of his life. His 1973 autobiography, Return to Earth, described how he overcame these challenges. And he has a wonderful new memoir that he is going to tell us about right here in the Barnes & Noble studios. Dr. Buzz Aldrin, you've been tagged. Thank you so much for being here. It didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> it didn't hurt. Oh, Your book is called Magnificent Desolation, The Long Journey Home from the Moon. You said magnificent desolation when you stepped out onto mm -hmm, the moon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now those words, they well, symbolize so much more. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Uh, you know I'm not that good at describing emotions. I've read your book. Yeah, I've read, read your it, book. Read it, read it. A lot of people could have gone to the moon and kicked up dust. Mm -hmm. Okay, really. I don't think so, but all right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. Beautiful. We just happened to be there yeah. on, the, on the pinnacle and got the wonderful experience of being able to do that. And because of that, we get to write about juicy okay. things. I have a, a great quote from you that I love. From the pinnacle of Apollo, my That's greatest challenge became the human one, overcoming alcoholism and living behind depression, a challenge that required more courage and more determination than going to the moon. Yeah. You well, really believe that, huh? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. When we talk about astronauts, most of us, you know, visualize, you know, this kind of maverick, kind of crazy. Do you think that's what is required of astronauts? No. That, oh, no. 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 There are all varieties. We need the extrovert. We need the Pete Conrad, mm -hmm. who, who when, when he goes down the ladder, mm -hmm. gets down the bottom, and he says, that may have been a small step for Neil, but it was a mighty big one for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in here, you know? Yeah. Writing this just brought back all those uh, tipping points, they call them these yeah. days. One of the things I loved in your book was that it really is a love letter to your wife, Lois. You say such wonderful things about her, and you two really just seem to have this continued romantic uh, relationship. Well, you know, I know my talents and my shortcomings when I write a book and when I need to express emotional things, you know, nice niceties, I get a professional Lois. <laughs> <laughs> You're very well known for your sense of humor. And Buzz Lightyear is really named after you. The only problem is my bank account doesn't quite substantiate <laughs> <laughs> who is named after him. You have a great one-liner that I would love for you to give to us when you are ready to take off the moon. When they say you're cleared for liftoff from the moon, mm -hmm. I said, uh, Roger Houston, we're number one on the runway. <laughs> there was nobody else up there, okay? yes. <laughs> we're number one, and uh, it sure wasn't a runway. The book is wonderful. It's called Magnificent Desolation. It is available right now. It's a great read, and I just absolutely loved it, and what a thrill. Thrills to oh, me. Oh, Molly, you're, you're so neat to talk to. Oh, oh, well, oh, thank you. Thank you. Here's a tag close-up. The moon may be approximately 238,857 miles away, but we've got a book with photographs that will put the moon right within your reach. <laughs> Missions to the Moon, the complete story of man's greatest adventure, traces our quest to explore this final frontier. Through 150 stunning photographs and 20 beautifully recreated facsimiles of rare documents, you almost feel like part of the crew. We witness the lethal Apollo 1 fire, celebrate the success of Apollo 8, the first manned spacecraft to orbit a celestial body, marvel at Apollo 11 and the first man to land on the moon, and share the dangers endured by the astronauts aboard the ill-fated Apollo 13. 
The historic facsimile documents include the official NASA photograph of the Apollo 7 flight crew, the mission report from Apollo 11, as well as the descent map, a memo outlining future plans for Apollos 18, 19, and 20 before they were canceled. And that's my tag in person. Every week, we take a look at the new offerings in the world of books, movies, and music. And this week, we have some out of this world top tags. Blasting in as the number five tag is Rocket Men, the epic story of the first men on the moon. Rocket Men is the thrilling story of the moon mission, and it restores the mystery and majesty to this stunning achievement. Sounding off at number four is Voices from the Moon. Apollo astronauts describe their lunar experience. Andrew Chaikin's prior book, A Man on the Moon, is considered the definitive history of the Apollo moon missions. Now, using never before published quotes from his in-depth interview with the Apollo lunar astronauts, he has created an extraordinary account of the lunar missions. Picture perfect as my number three tag is Apollo through the eyes of the astronauts. Each of the surviving 21 astronauts from the Apollo missions has chosen a favorite photo from his space flight, especially for the book. Arriving safely as my number two tag is Apollo 11, the moon landing book for kids. With this round and colorful sticker book, today's kids can relive the thrill and join the astronauts as they make one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Budding astronauts can look at the mission logbook watch day-to-day -day action unfold, and get a great view of the big event. Landing as my number one tag is From the Earth to the Moon on DVD. Originally aired on HBO and directed by Apollo 13 star and space enthusiast Tom Hanks, From the Earth to the Moon is the highly acclaimed 12-episode series that explores the ups and downs of space travel chronicling the journey of putting the first man on the moon. And those are my top tags for this week. With all these great books celebrating space, you don't have to go to the moon. The moon can come to you. See you next time on Earth on Barnes & Noble Tagged. Oh, hey, one more thing. I want to tell you about eBooks from Barnes & Noble launching this week. America's number one bookstore also now carries the world's largest selection of eBooks. All you need to do is download the free, yes, yes, free B and N e-reader software from barnesandnoble.com slash eBooks. It just takes a minute. And turn your mobile phone or computer into an e-book reader. It works with the iPhone, Blackberry, Macs, PCs, and more platforms are coming soon. It comes with a selection of free classic e-books to get you started. And enjoy e-books anytime, anyplace. And get started at barnesandnoble.com slash e-books.